India star singer and actor Diljeet Dosanjh's India tour started in the capital city New Delhi. The two-day concert created a lot of buzz in the city and created quite the stir. Much like what many witnessed post the concert, the aftermath of which has put a question mark on India's hopes of becoming a sporting nation, of building a sporting culture. The Jawaharlal Nehru or the JLN Stadium where the concert was held is in disarray. The running track was covered in debris and garbage. And the stadium was left in shambles by the thousands of fans who attended the concert. None of it cleaned up until social media fury struck SAI, the Sports Authority of India, and the organizers. Many athletes have even complained that personal training facilities have been destroyed too. While the Sports Authority of India is pointing fingers at the concert organizers, the bigger question is can India really become a sporting giant if a sporting stadium is treated this way? Here's a report. Indian superstar Diljeet Dosanjh delivered the hype his concert had created over the past two months. Over 70,000 people attended the two-day concert in India's capital city, New Delhi. And while the fans embraced the pop star's performance, the aftermath of it has left the sporting world furious. Before the concert took place at the Jawaharlal Nehru or the JLN Stadium, the situation looked entirely different a training facility for some of the rising names in football, athletics and other sporting disciplines. And this is what it looked like post a weekend of music and dance. Clearly, the fans alone were not hung over after the concert. Looks like the stadium experienced the aftershock too. Piles of rotting food, bones and alcohol bottles strewn across the running track. Patches of the track soaked and stained in juices, stands broken and training facilities damaged. The stadium was in a shambolic state, with no one bothering to clean up the mess post the mayhem. Athletes coming into train, seeing all of this, were not amused. This is where athletes train, but here people had alcohol and partied. For this, the stadium was closed off until yesterday. Athletics equipment has been broken and thrown to the side. This is the kind of respect people have for athletes in India. Many athletes claim that the equipment brought in by them on their own personal expenses have been damaged too. And this inconvenience had started a week prior to the concert. The stadium was closed off for all athletes from the 23rd of October. And with the current state the stadium is in, the wait for athletes to resume their practice sessions continues. Many of the athletes here have their junior national championships in 20 to 25 days but they have been unable to train in this time. With the main stadium unavailable, athletes trained on the practice pitch of the JLN Stadium. But that is still not enough given the number of athletes who need to train. And while many concerts have been organised in this stadium in the past, this was the first time it was being held in the playing area. So the organisers needed to be more vigilant about maintaining the facility for what it is primarily used for. We also believe that in order to clean the stadium, organisers used hard brooms which has resulted in the synthetic running track getting damaged. Clearly shows you how careless and ill-prepared the organisers were while conducting the concert and handing back the stadium in the condition it was given in. According to reports, the Diljeet concert organisers paid close to $6,000 to use the JLN stadium. That was the per day charge. So for two days, the stadium management earned close to $12,000. And this is just the fee from organisers. JLN earned more after renting out food stalls and beverage outlets in the complex. How much of that went into the cleanup after the concert? The Sports Authority of India is furious too, and they've blamed the organisers for this mess.
India just finished in the Olympics this year with a lesser medal haul than their previous campaign. Yet, India dreams to become a giant force in the sporting world. Prime Minister Narendra Modi wants to host an Olympics in 2036. That needs to start with concerted efforts all through, whether it is recognizing and grooming athletes to make them proficient gold medal winners or maintaining stadiums and facilities where athletes train. Securing the sanctity of where athletes come to toil and work hard and dream big. While the Diljeet concert does put the Sports Authority of India and the organisers under the spotlight, one also has to ask, maybe all these fans who enjoyed a musical extravaganza should have also done their bit in being a little bit more mindful of the venue they were in. First Post decodes the US election explains how America chooses its president. Your primer on the race to the White House. Everything you need to know about how America votes and its global implications. U.S. Election Explained. Every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.